what's up youtube today i'm going to show you guys how to create your own pencil brush inside of photoshop so without any further ado let's get started so i'm going to show you two ways of how you can create the brush inside of photoshop first you can customize one of the default photoshop brush to suit your own like and you should know that what i'll be showing you guys is the way i'm going to set my own brush that i will use for drawing and you can play around with the settings to set your own brush the way you are really going to want it to be so i'm going to show you guys how to customize one of the default brush in photoshop to suit your pencil like brush and how to create a brush externally in photoshop so first what we are going to do we are going to open up the general brush present in photoshop so we have the hard round pressure size brush and i'm going to switch to black and this is where we get when we try to make use of the brush let me increase the size and this is it even if we try to change this to a 50 percent gray and this is still what we are going to get so you can use that to create you can use this as your pencil but you know there's a kind of feel it's supposed to be giving you and it's not really really giving you that so let's customize this brush to something we are really really going to like so before we do that uh okay let's let the brush and i think maybe we can duplicate that brush let me see no we can't so what we're going to do go over to windows and brush settings to open up your brush panel so i'm going to duck it um, i'm going to put it here so that we can see that and i will go into full screen mode so that i can move this and where i want it to be so we have the the fourth brush selected here so when you look here you can see that we just have only the shape dynamics and the smoothing which is you can make use of the smoothing if you want to. so we want to customize this brush if you get to see most of the pencil brush um, most artists use it always has the pressure back city right and um, a little bit of a faded tip at the beginning of the brush so i'm going to show you how to achieve that kind of brush in photoshop right now okay so first thing you are going to do you are going to leave the shape dynamics first for now we're just going to leave that for now then we'll go over to the transfer and we'll come over to the word opacity jitter and we're going to set that to pen pressure so with that now when you see you go what when you press hard on your tablet you're going to get the um the light and the thick line when you press hard and you press light on your tablet now you can control that word pressure from where you want it to be the opacity how you want it to start or how you want it to and you can see you can control it totally or you can just play around with that so you get to understand how it really, really works so let's say okay i'm going to raise all these lines i do here and i'm going to zoom in closely for you guys to see so with a minimum set to zero percent so this is what we have all right with the minimum set to zero percent i'm just going to draw a little bit of that and with the minimum set to about somewhere around 50 percent and this is what we get so now you can see the what the difference now looking at the tip you can see that what here it's a little bit lighter starting from this part going close to the end it's so much lighter but here the distance of being light it's not that much so that is the what the control or the what minimum what the minimum there is minimum slider there is in this part so for this i'm going to set it somewhere around. i'm just going to set it down to zero because that is pretty, pretty okay so right this is nice for me just probably what i want it to be just that so you can play around with the flow that is if you want the flow it's already set to a pen pressure as the flow that is if you want it that but if you don't you can just turn it off and you're going to have it just like 
this so i think i really like it without the flow it's okay we just the opacity and what so then we can start so this is what we are getting right now we are trying to sketch with this brush so um now we turn off the flow and the next thing we're going to do we're going to go back into the shape dynamics and we're going to play with the let me go back to the brush and try to increase the size a little bit so that we can really see what's going on here so go back into the shape dynamics and play around with this um not the size the minimum diameter so that we are not really going to have the sharp edge the way it looks so okay let me take this down so that we can see this is how it is with the minimum diameter set to zero and we'll increase it a little bit like 15 percent this is what we have not that sharp edge so now your size of the brush control that sharp edge and how you really really play so <clears throat> now you can really see what's going on and what we've done and the kind of modification we've done to this brush and if you're the type using all these stuff angle and so on i would really advise you to make use of the angle at this point all right so let's increase the size of the brush so let's see what is happening there because at this point the angle jitter is just going to control the roundness of the brush but we're going to set that to zero we don't need that so these are just the biggest basic settings and the modification you can do to the default pressure and pressure and brush in photoshop hard run pressure brush in photoshop which you can use to create a little bit of pencil that you can make use of so you can go advanced with your settings but to me this is this are just what i'm going to set it to if i want to make use of the default hard run brush in photoshop so if you want to try out something like this you can really see adding a little bit of what a little bit of texture to it as you can see right here so you can keep that up or you can take it down or keep it a little bit so that you get something different from the original right if you're not the type that if you're not a fan of um, a smooth line you can make use of that method but i'm just going to keep it this way now to save the brush once you are done with all the settings, so I will go back to brush tip shape and I'm going to set it to somewhere around 25 so that it's really going to be small. 25 or probably 10. 10 will be fine for me. So I'm going to set it to 10. And yeah, this is nice. 10 is okay. I'm going to set that to 10. Then I will hit on this plus icon here to create a new brush. Now, when you hit on this, include two settings. Well, I'm going to show you what that is really really for then this part that says capture brush size in preset when you check on that it's going to save it with the default 10 size which you created so i'm going to leave it that way and just check these two box for now and the color you don't want to include the color you just want to leave that box on check so hit on what okay when you hit on okay you've got the brush here you can see the difference between the regular brush the regular hard round brush and the one you just created so let's select the regular hard round brush so this is what we have and we'll select this one this is what we have a pencil like totally different from the original one we have right inside of photoshop now when you notice something when you look at this part you can see that we have a brush at the top right corner now that icon is showing you that even though you have any two selected the moment you select this brush it will automatically switch into the brush for you it is automatically select the brush too so let's really check and confirm that so when we come down to this part and let's say we select the clone stamp too now the clone stamp too is being selected now we want to go back to the brush too or want to make use of this brush at this point so without selecting the brush too right here when you select on this hard round brush you can see that it automatically switch into the words the brush too so that is exactly really what i want to show you now we forgot to rename the brush at the beginning but to rename the brush later you can see right click and just hit on the rename brush now to fix this if you really don't want this brush icon or to automatically switch the two for you you come down to this part click on the new and this time you just don't want to word hit on capture brush size i mean you don't want to include the word two settings so click on that to uncheck that box and here i'm just going to rename that to 
print too. Um, sorry about that. Pensu. Oh my. Alright, Pensu. And click OK. So now you can see that we don't have this mark right yet. Now you can just keep up with what you want just exactly the way you want it to be so now you can what select any tool you can use this with the eraser tool you can use this with a smudge tool or any other way you want it to be or anyhow you like it to be but i really love this with the brush icon so that it can automatically switch the brush for me so i'm just going to delete this and what i'm going to do i'm going to drag this to this part and i'm going to put it inside brushes which i created so it's going to be right here now for the brushes if you want to create another style of brush that is not existing in photoshop or you don't want to make use of any photoshop default brush so what i have include a file in the link where you can download when you get that file when you get that folder what you're going to get there is just um let me see inside of that folder this is where you are going to get you're going to get the stuff i got this from png3 so you can check png3 if you want or you can check the link in the description to download this so i'm going to drag this and drop it into photoshop now this is just exactly how i want it to be there is nothing else but you can do a basic modification to this so the basic modification you want to do, you might want to add um, levels adjustment by hitting Ctrl L on your keyboard, and I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. That's just what I'm going to do. There's nothing else that I'm going to do. I'm going to hit on OK. Now I will go up to Edit, Define Brush Presets, and it's going to give me this crap so so and so on, which is right here. But I'm just going to name it pencil brush 01 now you're going to know why we named the, name the pencil brush 01 i'm going to click ok so now once we create that we are going to have it here pencil brush 01 so when we go back into our document and let's zoom out a little bit so that we can really see what is going on here when we paint this is what we get it's just really really nasty so you can decrease the size if you want you can see what we have it's really really nasty and not really good so we need to customize this brush to make it of pressure and to give it that pencil like look so here comes the come the brush setting to make sure you are selecting the brush and when you're selecting the brush head over to the shape dynamics and the size jitter change the control because it's going to set it off click on that and set it to pen pressure now you are going to get the word the pen pressure which so when you press light and press hard it's going to be controlled by the pen pressure on your tablet of your tablet so this is what we are having right now okay so you can go ahead and do some further customization to this like um so let's go back to the um, transfer <clears throat> now you can add the um the opacity digital everything else which you like we did to the other one so i'm just going to keep this that way keep this the same way it is so what i'm going to do i will go back to the word the shape dynamics first i'm going to turn off the transfer first i'll go back to the shape dynamics and look at the blur the brush closely you can see that when i move the brush it stays in the same position and direction so at this time what i want to do i want the brush moment i create a line i want it to rotate or to change its position that is where the angle jitter comes in so i guess i can plan out with this with something about 30 it's fine let's keep it at 30 All right so now you can see that what as i move it's as i create a line it's changing the word rotation or it's automatically what rotating and now you can see that we have a little bit of kind of like texture on the outlines and so on so now we'll go back into the transfer and the pen pressure is going to be checked so you can see now you can what customize this brush the way you want it to be if you want it to be this way you can if you want it to be the other way around you can do that too so, but the brush the way i First, the first step this brush, I am not making use of the 
transfer which is the opacity and so on is just like this but i think i like the brush with the transfer the opacity and so on so i'm not going to play around with the minimum i'm just going to leave it that way and you can play around with the flow like i guess i'm going to set this work with the flow on this one so let's keep it that way um let's see okay this is pretty nice for pencil like look giving me that inky stuff and so on so let's just decrease the size of the brush to somewhere around 20 inches okay so let's see so this is what we have giving us that pencil like look this is really really awesome and that's what i want so once you're done with all the settings you can save it now in case you want to add texture you're the type that like the texture you want to add texture to, to the brush uh, let me really let me quickly show you that but i won't be adding any texture to the brush so let's see let's uncheck the word texture so this is the brush without texture and we hit on the texture this is what we're going to get so now it's still like kind of like mixing with the brush so from there you can click and select any texture available in photoshop so i'm just going to select this one and it's not really really showing let's zoom in and see what's up it's not really really showing that much so from here i'm going to change this to multiply and you can see what's happening to the word to the brush we just created so you can keep up with all these stuff that is if you want to but let me just decrease this size a little bit and see what it's made of so you can see the line you're getting so if you're the type that like all these kind of lines you can go ahead and make use of texture you can increase the scale increase and decrease the scale you can see the difference between the between increasing and decreasing the scale of the texture so you can play around with all these settings to give you what you want but i'm not going to add any texture i'm just going to keep it that way so once you're done with all the customization time for you to set the size i'm going to set it to 25 just 25 then I can go over here and hit on plus icon to create the brush and this time I'm just going to include brush preset or two preset because this is just what I want so I remember we named it pencil 01 so I'm just going to erase the pencil 01 and I'm going to hit on ok so now we have, we have created the word brush another brush so we can now select that brush and make use of it if we go over to this one and select we can come back and make use of it so at this point the first one is no longer needed we can delete that so now once you delete that it's over you can now group this brush if you that is if you really really want to group it you can just select the brush and hit on road group and it's going to, i'm just going to put that as group one well that's creating new groups. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop it into the group, and we have it there. So let me, let me just close all these other brushes so that we can really see what's going on. So we have it here, group one. So you can rename the group by right clicking and hit on rename group, and you put in any other name you want to put. So I'm just going to delete this because I really don't need that. I already have some other brushes here, and I just added one that some and right here i'm going to rename this rename i'm going to name that pencil yeah just pencil and that's it so i guess little by little um, when i really really see what i'm going to add to my brush and what i want to take out or what i want to add if i finally finalize the brush i am going to share the brush i'm supposed to share it in this video but i am not really sure of it at this point because i might still want to add up some things later on but for now i'm not really going to share that and that is going to bring us to the end of this video and that is just the simple way of how you can create a brush in photoshop there are several ways which you can do that by importing other stuff so you can also import textures and make use of textures i guess i am going to make a video on that in the future but for now we are just going to stick to this and this is just how to create a basic pencil brush or just a pencil brush inside of 
photoshop so if you have any request or any comment you can just leave it down below in the comment box and we have just created a new group in photoshop i mean a new group on facebook and let me see i might leave a link to the group in the description but you also have the link to my facebook page and my instagram account see if you have any question or you want to talk to me directly about some stuffs and so on you can just hook me up with one of those links but for now we're just going to say goodbye and have a nice day but remember if you've not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe and also make use of the notification bell icon so that you get notified anytime i will posting a new video and yeah the intro the intro has just changed because um i really don't love don't like that previous intro i was making use of before and i've not really have any time to create a new intro since already so i so i just decided to create it right now and decided to do something different and something new that's really really going to be pleasing with the eyes so i really really apologize if the previous intro was using does not really really last long because the intro has been pushing me off for so long but i really don't want to change it so i just change it right now so see you guys in my next video and make sure that you keep creating